For example, I, I read in semiconductor industry, 90% of the skills are learned and acquired through mentorship, apprenticeship. You can learn senior engineering, AI, software engineering, you can learn solo. So why is that? Why it's so hard to learn on your own? So the thing is like uh, in AI, uh, right? Like there are like a lot of tutorials available uh, and like, you know, AI is something which you can do, uh, you know, at your home as well. Like maybe not like advanced GPU, LLM AI, but if you have like a good amount of uh, like good GPU, like decently good GPU, you can certainly do some, you can learn, at least start learning AI on your own at your home. But in terms of semiconductors, you can only get theoretical knowledge from textbooks if you sit at home. You will not get that practical knowledge unless you go in there and uh, you know you try to uh, kind of build the devices or make those devices and building and making the devices is very expensive you cannot do it like anywhere you would need to be in a company or in a research institution to do that and like the equipments to measure them right you know to understand their performance this also like these tools are very expensive so you cannot just like you know uh, like it's not available everywhere like you know uh, uh, these are only available in like you know some good research R1 research institutes or R2 institutes and uh, you know in the top uh, companies as well so that's why like you know if uh, you are maybe let's say doing working in that company or if you're mentored in that company or or if you're a student or a researcher in a, in a research institution then it becomes easier for you to kind of get a hands-on experience which kind of helps you learn this more because from home uh, in semiconductors you will only get theoretical you will primarily get theoretical knowledge Knowledge, which is also important uh, because without the theoretical knowledge you can't really do just fabrication and measurement and things like that so theoretical knowledge is important but that will only uh, like you know uh, if you're if you want to do something in semiconductors like hands-on like fabrication then you need uh, to like you know uh, get the hands-on experience as well along with the theoretical knowledge